Hi everyone. So right now we're going to be doing 6-4-3. It says create a variable called person and add the following values. Use camel case. So again for this one, when we go back here and look at W3 schools and how they have set up objects, um, so we're going to look at not just the formatting of the object, but how to actually grab the key value pair within the object. Um, so let's go over here. It says create a variable called person. So let's just set it up one at a time. Variable called person. So var person and we assign it to something. And if we look at the formatting, we can see here it's the squiggly bracket, opening squiggly bracket, and then closing squiggly bracket with the semicolon. So let's set that up first. Open that up. And then we have to add key value pairs. We always have to have something that's the key, which is a unique key there. And then a value, something that gives it some kind of information. So we'll say right here it says color is brown. Eye color is brown. So it's two two variables and we're saying we want to use camel case. So we use eye color brown the comma because we're still continuing something. So we want to just use comma and because this is a string, we have to put this in a string value, comma. Then we have to do hair color. And then this is a string as well. It's red, comma. Then we have age, which is 30. So essentially, this entire object, it's saying that this is the key value pairs, or these are key features for this one person. So this person contains an eye color, it has a hair color, and an age. So within this person, we have the eye color of brown, the hair color of red, and the age of the person is 30. So we're just storing some kind of information here um, that we can collect or grab the information later on. And what it's saying here is console log out the hair color of the object. So if we want to grab certain values within an object, all we have to do is let's do console.log person. And in order to grab information, all we have to do is add the dot. And you see here when we add the dot, it already comes up with a bunch of values that we already defined. So after the period, it's like, do you want age? Do you want eye color? Do you want hair color? Um, so for this one, we're just trying to find the hair color. So we click it, add the semicolon at the end, save, and let's do node test.js. I know it's a test.js because that's the what I called the file. And if you don't know, it's already up here at the top as well, test.js. Hit enter. And you see here, red. So what it's saying here is look inside the person object, which is right here. Look inside this object and look for a hair color. So it looks down, it goes, nope, not this. Oh, it matches, hair color. So what's the value of this? It's grabbing out the value of red because that is what we are trying to call for. We're trying to grab a value from the object. So this is how you just grab specific information from an object.